If you have any questions about your TV repair, please leave a comment in the comment section below this video. Be sure to include your TV brand, TV model number, and the symptoms and problems that your TV is showing. This information will help us to best diagnose the problem with your TV and suggest a fix. We will reply to your message as quickly as we can. After we reply to your comment, you should receive a notification in your email account. Be sure to check the social and promotion tabs and the spam folder in your email. Thanks and we look forward to assisting you on your TV repair journey. In this video we will be taking a look at where to begin troubleshooting when you are hearing a clicking in your plasma TV by taking a look at troubleshooting the Y board and X board. To help locate parts, over here we have the Y board, which can also be known as the Y sus, Y sustain, and SC board. Here we have the power supply board. Over here we have the X board, which can also be known as the X sus, X sustain, and SS board. This troubleshooting method will work for most brands of plasma TVs, but will not work in Panasonic TVs. Panasonic plasma TVs send out blink codes, so if you start disconnecting boards, you will receive blink codes for different problems from the original. This TV has individual power cables going from the power supply board to the Y board and the X board. Some TVs will not have a cable going from the power supply to the X board. They will have a power cable going to the Y board and then a cable from the Y board to the X board. If this is the case then you will need to troubleshoot a bit differently but we will cover that a bit later in the video. We have unplugged our TV from power and removed the back cover. We have also waited at least 5 minutes so the large capacitors can discharge. You will always want to do this and wait 5 minutes for the large caps to discharge between disconnecting and connecting the cables so you do not do damage to the boards. The first thing you will want to do is disconnect both boards from the power supply. Now that we have both boards disconnected, we can plug back in the TV and see if we hear the clicking noise. If you do not hear the clicking noise anymore, the first thing we will want to do is unplug the TV from power and wait 5 minutes before reconnecting the Y board. Go ahead and reconnect the Y board back to the power supply and plug in the TV. If you hear the clicking noise, then the Y board is bad and will need to be replaced. If you do not hear the clicking noise, then we will want to plug back in the X board to confirm the X board is causing the clicking noise. Before plugging back in the X board, let's unplug the TV and disconnect the Y board from the power supply and then plug the X board into the power supply. After you've plugged in the X board, Go ahead and plug back in the TV and listen for the clicking noise. If you hear this clicking noise, then your X board is bad and will need to be replaced. If you are replacing the X board, that is the only board that will need to be replaced. However, if you are replacing the Y board, you will also want to replace the Y buffer or Y buffers that are attached to the Y board that connect from the Y board to the TV panel. As we mentioned earlier, some TVs have a power cable going from the power supply to the Y board and then a cable from the Y board to the X board. If this is the case with your TV, then we will want to disconnect the Y board from the power supply and disconnect the X board from the Y board as well. Go ahead and plug back in your Y board to the power supply with your X board still disconnected. Take a listen and see if you hear clicking. If you do hear the clicking, then you know the problem is your Y board. If you do not hear the clicking when you connect your Y board to the power supply with your X board disconnected from the Y board, then you can connect the X board back to the Y board and your Y board to the power supply. Apply power to the TV and you should hear the clicking which will be caused by the X board since you did not hear the clicking when you had only the Y board connected. When you hear the clicking, that means that your board is bad and will need to be replaced. If you need to replace the Y board, be sure to also replace the Y buffer or Y buffer boards in your TV all at once. Also, when connecting and disconnecting boards, be sure to wait that 5 minutes in between to allow the large caps to discharge. Thank you for watching one of our many tutorials here at ShopJimmy.com. If you have any further questions regarding your repair, Simply post a question in the comment section below or call our award-winning customer service team at the number on your screen. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. 
Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends to help us spread the savings. And don't forget to hit that like button.